Hello, this is Jamie from Shamrock Grow World, and today I'm going to show you how I continue to grow tamarind trees from seed. This is a continuation of two of my tamarind tree videos. The first one is how to grow tamarind from seed, which features four tamarind seedlings that were grown in September 2018. The second video is how I grew a tamarind tree, which features Tammy the tamarind that was grown in March 2015. So we'll start at April 7th, 2019, which is where we left off on how to grow tamarinds from seed. September 2nd tamarinds are now seven months old. They also have names and their names are tamarindas for tam number three and indica for tam number four. The September 30th tamarinds are six months old and they will be referred to as twins number one and number two. On this day, the four tamarinds are let outside for the first time. The weather was warm enough for them to go outside and I also take a look to see how much they've grown. I also supported the seedlings with wooden dowels at this point. Here, the four tamarinds are with their big sister Tammy as she recovers from a troubling winter. On May 12th, I take a closer look at Tammy. I repotted Tammy back on March 23rd and she has now grown all of her leaves back. Now that Tammy is getting bigger, I start to consider pruning her. I don't know how to prune trees, but I knew it would be beneficial to control and form the new growth. I also plan to stake Tammy upright so she's not falling over or getting whipped in the wind. I was so glad to see Tammy back to normal after two months. On May 26, Tamarindus and Indica are eight and a half months old and the twins are seven and a half months old. All of them have grown a lot over the past month and a half. Some of them have multiple branches on the top and some have new growth on the top. I noticed that Tamarindus and Indica stems have gotten thicker over the months. The twins have doubled in size over the past month. They were both seven inches tall at the time and now they are 16 and 17 inches tall. The twin stems also got thicker too. The seedlings were in partial sun and were shaded from the intense afternoon sun. I didn't want to put them in full sun just yet. Today, I decided to transplant tamarindus and indica. They've been in their Whataburger cups for most of their lives and they needed a little bit more wiggle room. I put them in a single large container. I noticed that they didn't have a large root system and would still have some room to grow before they would compete with each other. It would be a temporary transplant for sure. The smaller twins have their own containers too. Twin number one will be in the red container and twin number two will be in the black container. I put all of them in partial shade for a while until they adjusted. On July 27th, I took a group picture of the tamarinds. They grew a lot over the summer and I expected to see more growth in the coming months. They were all in mostly sun during the summer. The four were in a spot that got brief noontime shade and Tammy was on the east side of the house and was protected from intense evening sun. I wanted to see what they looked like two months after being transplanted. The tamarinds are nine and a half months old. They grew taller over the months and they are both still single stemmed. Tamarindus and indica are 10 and a half months old. They both grew new branches over the past two months. Tamarindus is the largest of the two and has an open frame. Indica has two sets of parallel branches. Tammy is now four years and four and a half months old. She too grew a lot over the past months. She has more leaves, a few new branches, and is taller and straighter from being supported. The tamarinds are looking very good. After the photo shoot, I might have given the tamarinds some fertilizer. It would have been a while since they've had a boost. But I might have given Tammy too much because she dropped most of her leaves again. She was also in full sun, which probably didn't help. Here, on August 4th, you can see how different and bare she looks. But you can see new buds forming on the branches. She's in partial shade now. On August 11th, I take a closer look at Tammy who grew back her leaves after about two weeks from being fertilized. She has many light colored, fresh leaves and has so many new branches. I'm still hesitant to prune Tammy, although most of the new growth is prune worthy, such as these crossing branches. I decided to keep Tammy where she was. 
It's partial sun and shade, and it's been 100 degrees out lately. I also didn't want the fresh growth to burn in the hot sun. I also decided to remove the pineapple from Tammy's container. It definitely grew over the months. On August 31st, I take a look at all the tamarinds, starting with twin number two. It was almost burned at the beginning of the month. I don't know if it was because of being fertilized last month or if it was physically burned from being in full sun. I do believe direct sunlight was the biggest culprit because other fruit seedlings got burned too. However, twin number two was almost bare. But now it is growing back and is growing leaves and new small branches. I plan to keep it in the shade for a while. Twin number one is in another spot in the shade too. The twin tamarinds are in full shade to recover and be protected from the intense sun. Tamarindus and indica are now one year old. So today, I decided to transplant them into their own containers. The root balls were small, but now they can grow without competition. Here, the three oldest tamarinds are together. They will stay in partial shade while tamarindus and indica adjust in their new containers. They have many more weeks to grow in the warm Texas weather. On September 29th, I transplanted the twin tamarinds into slightly larger containers now that they're one year old. I didn't have large containers available, so the ones that I had were the next size up. I also added new soil in the containers. They stayed in partial sun while they recovered. The next day, all five tamarind trees are together. They will be in the spot in partial shade as they grow for another few weeks as the weather starts to change. By mid-October, Texas has had several cold fronts and the tamarinds are reacting to the colder, rainy weather. As you can see, their leaves are drooping and they look heavy. The tamarinds were moved to the south side of the house away from the cold northern winds. The nights are cool but not yet freezing. They're not in distress, but it was time to prepare them for winter. If you've seen my growing tamarind tree video, you will know that tamarinds will not enjoy the Texas winter. October 27th, I finally ordered and received a stable greenhouse. Unlike last year where I had a DIY PVC pipe and drop cloth greenhouse, I decided to invest in a sturdy winter greenhouse. Here, I take a last look at the five tamarinds. They've been in their spots for a few weeks and they're doing okay. They're slightly protected from light frost, which we had the night before. They're not dropping leaves, which is awesome, and I noticed some new growth on all of them. Now that I got the greenhouse assembled, the tamarinds have first dibs for spots in the new greenhouse. It took me a while to get Tammy into the greenhouse because her soil was wet and heavy. It's a little cramped and cluttered, but I'm glad that everyone fits. Having the greenhouse up was great timing because several nights later, we had a hard freeze that dropped the night temperatures into the lower 30s. The tamarinds and the rest of my plants will be protected from winter. As you can see, many things have happened over the years for the tamarinds. Young tamarinds were transplanted several times throughout the spring and summer. Shortly after they were transplanted, they were fertilized. They loved the Texas heat, although they needed water at times and protection from the intense sunlight. And the four young tamarinds became large, healthy trees by their first year. Tammy really transformed over the year. She went from barely having any leaves to being a large, full tree by the end of the year. Other than the August mishap from the fertilizer, she recovered and grew wonderfully. I plan to do another video update of the five tamarinds while they're in the greenhouse through October 2019 through April 2020, when it should be warm enough for them to go back outside. I plan to prune Tammy once she's out of the greenhouse. I want to learn about pruning fruit trees in general, and I want to make sure I'm doing it right. Tammy will turn five years old in March 2020. I want to prune to encourage good growth, and I want to potentially encourage Tammy to produce fruit or at least flower, whichever happens first. I don't know what to expect in the next few years, but pruning will definitely change everything. I can't wait to see how much the tamarinds will grow while in the greenhouse. 
you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you're interested in learning more about tamarind fruit, check out my video, What is Tamarind? And don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and ring the notification bell for more videos about exotic fruits, growing exotic fruits, gardening, outdoor crafts, and more. <laughs> Thank you.